Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem 7 slash Blazing Blade slash the multitude of names that this game could be called. Uh, we are getting ready to start not chapter 17, but a bonus chapter we got for saving the Kalen soldiers in the last chapter. We're going to be starting chapter 16X. After speaking with the Ostian spy Layla, Ellie would realize that he must travel to Valor, the Dread Isle. The small island located south of Lycia is said to be home to the Dragon's Gate. Heading for the southern coast of Kaelin, they seek passage in the port of Baden. <clears throat> Chapter 16X, The Port of Baden. Listen, we need a boat to Valor. You want a boat to the Dread Isle? You're mad! No way, never. There's no one in this village who will sail there. Please, we're in a hurry. Can you give us passage? If you won't help us, can you take us to someone who will? Please. You must be on urgent business, that's certain. There may be one way. What is it? Please tell us. Pirates. Eh? Pirates? Uh-huh. They're fearless, or as close as, as makes no difference. And they'll go anywhere for a fee. Who knows, they might decide to accept your mad offer. Pirates? Looks like we've got no choice. Are you serious, Hector? Working with pirates? That's unbelievable. You're considering it, aren't you, Elliewood? If there's no other way, what else can we do? You too, Elliewood? I've misjudged you. It's foolishness to trust the goodwill of pirates. I'm finding another way. Why is she so angry? I heard that Lindis' parents were slain by bandits. Bandits at land, pirates at sea. They're all the same to Lindis. Lawbreakers and murderers. I see. My parents died of illness, but I can appreciate her feelings. Shall we abandon the pirate plan? But... Too bad about the girl, but there's no other way. Let's meet the pirates. We can't decide until then. That's true. That inn over there is known favorite of the local freebooters. They're reckless and unpredictable. Best be prepared. <clears throat> what do you want, whelps? You're here to see me, aren't you? You're commander of the pirate armada, aren't you? Gwahaha! Commander of the Pirate Armada. I like the sound of that. Are you lads that naive, or are you just dumb? Which is it? You insolent peace actor. If I've insulted you, I apologize. How should I address you? Hmm. You don't frighten easily, do you? Well, at least it seems you're not stupid. Captain will do, whelp. I'm Fargus, Captain of the Davros. Fargus? Master Fargus? Or should I call you Captain? You're not one of my mates. Call me Fargus. Now, what do you want? We want to book passage to Valor. How much will you pay? We don't know the current rates. Tell us how much you want. A hundred thousand gold. Wait, a hundred thousand? Well, will you pay? We've no choice, but we need a little time. We'll get the gold and return as quickly as possible. Come, Hector. W wait a moment. Elliewood... Hollywood, hold on. Where do you think you're going to get the 100,000 gold? I'm sure there's an arena here. We can raise gold somehow. What? You're not serious. We've no other way, do we? Well, no. Sometimes you surprise me, Hollywood. Did you say something, Hector? No, nothing. Let's go earn some gold. Ahoy! Hold your ground, boys. What now? We don't have the money yet. Fool, of course you don't. I know that. The captain's got a message for you. A message? All of my mates in this village are going to attack you. If you can beat us all and get to the ship unharmed, he'll give you passage. For free? No gold? The captain's a tad off kilter. He'd rather have a bit of fun with you than take your gold. Smooth sailing to you. Hey, landlubbers, over here. I'm over here. Oh, for, is this a joke? Looks serious enough. Here we go. Listen, the captain's waiting at the docks. Talk to him and you're the winner. 
Trust me, though, don't make the mistake of attacking them. You anger the captain, there's no turning back. Don't forget. I couldn't find a ship after all. But we have to get to that island. Looks like I'll have to endure pirates. Hmm? What was that? Commotion in the village? Oh, Lynn, nice timing. We need your help. You're battling the pirates? Fighting and... Look, we have to reach the docks and speak to the captain. This is a test to see whether or not he'll give us passage. I don't understand, but I'm here, so let me help. Okay, so, chapter 16X. As usual, I'm going to pause, I'm going to get things set up, and then we'll start talking about this chapter, because there is a lot to discuss here, so hold on, guys. Okay, I am actually back, and we need to start discussing this chapter. So, first of all, we can only bring nine units, and Elliewood is one of those, so really just eight extra units here. Now, for this chapter, you want to bring your toughest, most defensive units, and also your best indirect units as well. Because this chapter can actually be really tough, especially if you're going to be doing it the way that I'm going to be doing it. So, the main goal for this chapter is to talk to Fargus right here. Fargus is a very dangerous unit. He has 58 HP, his stats are really good, he's a Berserker, which is a second level ca uh, unit, and um, Berserkers have high crit rates, and he has a Killer Axe, so this guy can pretty much kill you, no matter what, so do not even bother fighting him. Now, you can talk to him in one of two ways, or in one of two paths you can take to get to him. You can either take the path around here, which seems very simple. This is the intended way to do it. It's a very easy path with not a lot of units. And a lot of these uh, units are pretty uh, pretty simple to defeat. So if you want an easy way to get through here, just send a unit around this way and then beat it no problem. Or if you want to tough it out, you can send a unit through the middle, which uh, doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult, but... Uh, yeah, some of these guys don't mess around. <laughs> so, yeah, these units are very, very tough. And there'll actually be a couple of other units that'll appear, like, throughout the chapter as well, so... This is a scary, scary chapter if you're gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it. And there's also a lot of houses in the middle, you'll get some items this way. And, yeah it can be a challenge. In fact, it's almost kind of luck-based to get through it because a lot of these units have really high crit rates, and if you get crit, chances are you're probably not going to be able to do this. But, I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think it'll be terribly bad. I generally know what I'm doing with this. So, um, you know, again, we're going to give it a shot here. So, there is a chance I might have to reset. That's just the way it is. If I do, I do, and that, that pretty much goes without saying. So, Let's go ahead and get this chapter started. I'm going to go ahead and save my game again right here, and we're going to get started. Good to see you again, Slim. Our reunion is surely the work of Blessed Elamine. I'm most pleased to travel with you once more. Your commands, please. Ah, uh, well, thank you, Lucius. So you may have noticed I brought Raven along. Um, the reason I brought Raven along is... He is my lowest leveled unit that I'm thinking about using right now, so I need to give him some experience. And this is honestly probably a good way to give him experience, to kind of send him up this way to take on these weaker units. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus just on the Iron Sword for right now. He should be okay. I don't foresee any major problems. And yeah, let's start worrying about these other guys now, because this is where things are going to get really, really difficult. I'm gonna... I guess I'll go ahead and get this village right here. Pardon me, I was speaking with an old sailor a few moments ago. He told me that you're planning to travel to Valor, is that so? Really? And that's why you're playing tag with these pirates? I see. In that case, would you mind if I joined you? My name is Kanas. I'm a scholar of short sorts. I have been seeking passage to Valor, but none will take me. My proposal probably sounds somewhat selfish, no? 
You should know, I can help in combat. I have some skill with a form of elder magic. Some call it dark magic, a rather biased term if I must be blunt. But at the very least, I can take care of myself and perhaps others. So there we go, we have our first and only shaman you will get in this game. Uh, there is no other dark magic user in this game, unless you're counting another unit at the very end of the game, but I don't count them. Uh, but yeah, this is Kanas. Being the only dark magic user, he is um, definitely... There's definitely motivation to using him, and I would definitely recommend using him in every playthrough, uh, just because he is a dark magic user and he can use Luna. What is Luna? We'll find out in the next chapter, actually. But um, yeah, that spell, pretty much broken, and because of that, it makes uh, Kanas a must-have for your team, at least in my opinion. It's a shame that he's a uh, bonus chapter only unit, but um, so if you didn't get the bonus chapter, you're never going to get Kanas, but definitely worth the acquisition if you go through here. Even if you go the normal way through this chapter, definitely recommend getting him. Uh, so yeah, he's actually going to be of uh, some major help here too, just because we do have a couple of units here that we could potentially take out. He actually has some pretty solid defense for a uh, magic user as well. His stats in general look pretty well balanced considering, so really, really good unit. Uh, but yeah, let's start working on this. This is where things are going to get tough, because these units in the middle, they actually will not move unless you pass a certain line. I want to say this is the line right here. This is the basic line. So if you pass this line, all the units will come towards you, so you have to be careful. Uh, this guy will not come towards you, and if you do decide to take on these units, do not kill him. For a reason I will once again be talking about later. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this started here. I think if we go right here, or actually it might be here. We'll start the uh, chapter outright, or start the chapter, or start the units moving. This path leads to danger. The pirates are waiting for you. Do you not think it would be better to find another route? You've risked much to come here. I can't let you leave empty-handed. Take this axe. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? However, it's cursed. It's a mighty weapon, but if one with bad luck wields it... Ooh, terrible, terrible, I tell you. Don't use it unless you have to. That's a Devil Axe. Devil Axe, basically, it can do uh, recoil damage. There's a chance it'll either hit the enemy for a strong attack or backfire and hit you instead, so be very careful with it. Honestly, it's not even worth using. I do not recommend using the Devil Axe at all. Just not a very smart thing to do. And we have not actually passed that line yet, so we are good for right now. I think ultimately what I'm going to do right here for this chapter is I'm going to try to play this safe. I'm going to have two units on each side of these choke points. And basically if one gets damaged I'll switch it out, use Priscilla to heal, and essentially work in that, in, in that mindset basically. I'm not going to send Kanas up with Raven because uh, Kanas should be fine by himself. But, yeah, that's what I'm pretty much going to do right here. So let's go ahead, move on to the next turn, see how this is going to go. Pirate going to attack uh, Raven, which is a huge mistake. Raven just too strong. I might actually need to heal him already, which is kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Okay, let's go ahead. Actually, before I do, let me do this to get you healed now before I jump in the line of fire here. Another thing you can essentially do before you pass that line I was talking about, you can try to lure some uh, enemies over and try to get them attacked before they're in a line of sight. Doesn't exactly work here, though, because this forest is in the way, but um, just be aware of where certain enemies can be attacked and where they can attack you. That is the one thing you have to keep in mind here. So like right here, I could put Hector here. He'll take a lot of damage, but um, if he survives, we could potentially get some hits on these guys too, so... 
That's, you know, just something we have to think about when going through this chapter. So let's do this. It looks like this square right here might be a good starting place. Hector doesn't have a lot of resistance, so he's going to take a Silver Axe, which will do... Okay, 11. That's going to do 12 damage. That's going to do 4 damage, but it could be 12 more damage. Then there's this guy. He's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> 19, 18. Yeah, Hector's dead if I do that. I would say Barter would be better, but Barter will take more damage anyway. Yeah, see, this is tough. <laughs> this is, again, where it gets really, really hairy just because a lot of things can happen. And you know, you, you don't want your units to die. You never want your units to die for obvious reasons. Okay, I'm going to put Kent in here first. I think Kent will be fine. I'm just making sure I'm aware of all the units that can attack. Okay, this is the Killer Axe guy. Because of that, I may want you to go first. The problem with this, though... Okay, he's going to be weighed down. So he's not going to double. Okay, we'll put you in first then. What moon calves! I would have let them sit there if they hadn't come any closer. Up and at a mate's attack. So yeah, now we're uh, now we're asking for it. Now we're going to be asking for the pirate's wrath here. And I'm really, really scared about these guys. These guys are where it's going to get tricky for certain. Okay, I really don't want to put Hector just like in the range like this, but... You know, I gotta try it. I gotta try something. Oh shit, I didn't kill him. I should've used steel. Oh well. Let's see how this is going to go, guys. Let's see how it's going to go. <clears throat> what an interesting diversion. Maybe we should join in. Lord Ellie would have foray. You don't yet know to fear the Black Fang. Start grieving, for I will teach you that fear. So, yep, we have more units joining in as well. I guess you could say that guy, the paladin, is the true boss of this chapter, since you don't want to kill the other boss, obviously. <laughs> You're about to die. Scream if you must. And of course he has a killer edge. Because why not? He can actually attack twice, though, which is interesting. Okay, good. Miss that. Alright, nice, nice. Weapon level increased, so I can use uh, the Silver Lance now, which is great. Oh, and that's also perfect. Good dodge, Hector. I'm feeling a bit safer about this now. No damage to that, uh, with that killer bow. <clears throat> But as you can see, like, we didn't take a lot of damage, but we could have easily taken a lot of damage, so. <clears throat> Sometimes with this chapter, you just don't know how it's going to go. So now we have an option. Do we, like, try to fight through this, or do we play it safe and kind of back up a little bit? Honestly, both are vital options. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good about Oswin. The hammer is the one guy I need to get rid of, though, because hammer will not be good for Oswin. Can I actually double attack the hammer guy? I can, but I can't kill him. 
Oh yeah, he's in the forest too. That's not great. So the guys I really want to kill right now is I really want to kill the killer, the killer weapon guys, and I also really want to kill the Elfire Mage. Those are the main ones I want to get out of the way. I can use Kanas right here. I just have to be a little careful with how I move through this next part. Honestly, what I should have done, because I, I wasn't really expecting Damien to be able to get to Oswin here, I should have given him the Horse Slayer, because he probably could have... Oh yeah, he definitely could have killed him. We do have the Silver Lance now. Honestly, I could still use the Iron Lance to some effect. Let me check something. How are you going to do against you? Not quite. <clears throat> hmm... Well, what about this, then? That could actually help quite a bit. Not gonna lie. I just hope I can get rid of this guy for obvious reasons. Okay, let's do it. Let's start uh, getting rid of these fools. Okay, Killer Axe guy is gone. Next, we gotta get rid of the killer bow guy. Can't double him. Not with Ellie Wood, anyway. You have one more speed. Yes, okay, you can do something. What about... That might actually be good. I don't hate that. Obviously, we still have the hammer guy to worry about. But I'm feeling pretty safe at the moment. Not terrible. Not good, either. <laughs> okay, so I'm also curious about what I can do to Damien. I can't kill him. I can kill this guy, though, which is definitely recommended. The only problem is, I don't want to... Because obviously, I still need to get rid of this guy. That's another big thing, getting rid of this guy. Well, we've pretty much gotten rid of a lot of the trouble spots already, which is perfect. Obviously, the hammer is a big guy we need to get rid of, but... As long as we get rid of some of these other guys first, I'm not too worried about the rest of this. So let's do this. I'm gonna put... And see, like, just look at this. 100% with a Silver Lance. It's because of Oswin's ridiculously good con, because he can use the Silver Lance without being weighed down. While he's using a weapon that's probably, like completely out of his control. Actually, not really. He just has really bad speed. <laughs> Oswin has more speed than a freaking paladin. That's incredible. Okay, well, let's do this. Because um, I can't kill you with that. I might as well use the Silver Lance, then. Gaha! Crow and triumph! You've. You've what? <laughs> You've what? Okay, good level up, Oswin. He's level 15 already. That's insane. Not a great level up, though. It's okay, though. We're working. We're working on this. I think I know how exactly I'm gonna finish the rest of this, though. The rest of this little, uh. Encavement that we have. I'm going to use Kanas to go ahead and just wreck the floor with this guy. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, though, I can't heal Hector, which is a problem. Actually, hold on. Can I... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can't do that. 
Because I thought about maybe moving Hector over, killing him, and then being done with that, but there's still... They still would have this guy roaming around. Because, yeah, if Hector takes one blow from the Elfire guy, he's dead. So I can't really ignore that too much. Can't really take care of him either. Let's do this. This could work. This could work. Because I, I have a plan in mind. If everyone can survive an L fire, I should be okay. Which everyone should be able to. Your resistance is not great, but... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for it. This is gonna be risky as hell, but I think as long again, as long as I survive an L fire. This shouldn't be that big of a concern. And this way I don't have to leave Oswin defenseless here, because he'll take a damage from here for certain. Because L fire is very heavy. He's gonna lose four speed with that. So he's not gonna be able to double with it at all. Oh, and I can actually use Elliewood, too, so... Yeah, we're good. I think we're completely good now. Just gotta hit this and not miss. If, the, if Hector missed right there, I would've been mad. <laughs> I would've been really mad. Okay, so there we go. Heal you. And you know, I think we're actually going to end the video after this next turn because that took a lot of planning, but I think at the end of the day we did this very, very well. I think we handled this absolutely perfectly. Got rid of all the dangerous units. There's still some other units around, but they're not going to do that much to me. This was absolutely perfect. I could not have wished for a better result. And even Raven's going to continue getting experience on his own, too. Here's his first level up we got. Defense. That's about it. <laughs> well, actually, going for... That really surprised me that he went for Kent right there. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time when we finish up the rest of this chapter and start getting the next chapter set up. So I'll see you guys then. Later, folks.